everyone uh, welcome to our marine knowledge channel this is your sailor basha so in this video we are uh, going to see about uh, how to do uh, gudgeon pin clearance how to remove gudgeon pin how to refit gudgeon pin what are all the checks that we need to do in gudgeon pin all this thing uh, i will show you we'll go and check the video So first you have to inspect the gudgeon pin just uh, roll the gudgeon pin and look for any kind of uh, seizure any kind of peel off whether there is any decolorization like decolorization in the sense if any hot spot occurred then there will be a dark color and just check for the lube oil uh, grooves check for any impurity sludge in way of lube oil so just uh, blow air in all the lube oil and when you blow air in any one of the quill the other two quill should get the air out suppose number one you are putting the air and for number two and three you have to feel the air coming out that means there is no blockage in the passageway that is the indication so once uh, we are done with the blow through of all the lube oil quills clean the gudgeon pin properly with clean rags and now you can do the gauging so for uh, gauging the gudgeon pin you can use outside micrometer so we have to take a total four reading that means you have to check the od outside diameter of the gudgeon pin so use the outside the micrometer so we have to take four readings say one two so i will mark the reading so that it will be easy to so one two three four so four reading we have to take so always uh, ensure you are fixing the micrometer in a correct position that is the main thing so in my next video i will show how to use uh, outside micrometer so this video just see now we are taking the reading so we take for uh, all four readings so using this uh, outside micrometer is not so complicated very simple but the thing is you, have, you should know how to calculate the measurement if you don't know how to calculate the measurement then uh, you will end up filling with wrong measurement so i'm taking the third uh, measurement after this i'll go for the fourth one so we have to take four readings for the this is the last so total four readings we have to 
take for the gudgeon pin so very nice we are done and we marked so the idea is we can look out how much uh, worn out it happened so next this uh, you can use the inside micrometer and can take the measurement of the small and bore bearing so this is also very simple you have to take uh, two readings so before taking reading you have to clean the bearing area properly with clean diesel or any penetrating oil clean it nicely and once it is cleaned blow air ensure the lube oil quill area is clean free of any kind of blockage so okay so we are done with this thing so next we have to inspect the area so use inspect with bare hand so that you can feel if there is any seizure any peel of any fur coming out all these thing you can feel out only when you are inspecting it with a bare hand so i am done with the inspection and now next thing is we have to go for the gauging of bore so use the inner micrometer so what you what you, you need to do is uh, whatever value you get in this and whatever value you get with the outside diameter of gudgeon pin just you have to minus this is one way of taking the clearance between boss and gudgeon pin pin boss and gudgeon pin this is one way the other way is a easy way that way also i show so this way is uh, you have to minus the od of a gudgeon pin and id of the bore so whatever reading you get that will be your clearance and uh, suppose if you don't have a micrometer on board and you need to take the clearance very easily we can take i'll show how we need to take it so we have to take two readings for this that is uh, a1 and a2 so two readings we need to take so one will be on the forward and one will be on the aft side these are all the two readings that we need to take okay so always uh, for uh, taking this reading you have to keep zero setting i am i had kept the micrometer for zero and then i'll do the other side so one will be port side and one will be for the starboard side so that means we have to take two readings for this pin boss okay so we are done with two readings and as i said earlier whatever the reading you get just minus it with the gudgeon pin gudgeon pin od so that whatever uh, value you are getting that will be your clearances how to take the clearance between uh, boss and uh, gudgeon pin that is also very simple so all you need to do is take the gudgeon pin and insert it inside the boss so before that just ensure there is no dirt everything put some lube oil so that it will be easy for the gudgeon pin to go inside just apply a layer of uh, lube oil on gudgeon pin also so both the layer so once uh, these two are done you have to lift it and uh, as i said it will be very heavy just insert the gudgeon pin inside the boss okay now it's already insert so 
नेक्स्ट थिंग वॉट यू नीड टू डू इज टेक य फिलर गेज टेक य फिलर गेज जस्ट चेक द गैप बिटवीन दिस टू दैट्स ऑल विच एवर रीडिंग यू आर गेटिंग यू जस्ट दैट इज द क्लियरेंस बिटवीन गजन पिन एंड बॉस सो दिस इज द अदर वे टू टेक सेम यू हैव टू टेक फॉर बोथ फॉरवर्ड एंड आफ्ट साइड ऑफ बॉस सो दिस इज द अदर वे ऑफ टेकिंग द क्लियरेंस सो नाउ वी आर द वी कैन वी नो हाउ टू टेक गजन पिन क्लियरेंस हाउ टू गेज गजन पिन सो वंस वी आर डन ओके वी कैन टेक इट आउट record the measurement in the measurement record then now we are going to fix the gajan pin in piston i'll show you how to fix it so for fixing the gajan pin back uh, in place you need to ensure we are clean the, we are uh, completely clean the area of piston so just blow air and ensure uh, connecting rod is kept in uh, proper position and use uh, lifting arrangement for lifting the piston so now we are going to lift the piston and you have to ensure uh, properly lubricated on pin boss so that uh, it will uh, support uh, for inserting the gudgeon pin properly in place so after uh, lifting the piston you have to lower it easily so that uh, it don't get stuck anywhere you have to check the position of the mark in the piston and the connecting rod so now we are going to lower the piston okay so this is the f mark on the piston and you can see the dot marking on the connecting rod palm so this should match this is the thing that you need to check while lowering the piston or while assembling the piston with connecting rod this mark should be matched now we are lowering the piston over the connecting rod so once it is lowered just uh, lift the gajan pin and ensure it is properly in aligned so that uh, it don't get stuck in middle way uh, you cannot hammer the gajan pin while uh, installing it have to go very freely if it is not going freely that means it is touching somewhere that is the indication so now we are installing you can see from the other side so that it will be very clear you can see the gudgeon pin is inside and it is coming only with the help of pushing so that's all we are done with the installing of gudgeon pin now the final stage is you have to fix the pin So this is your locking pin, and you have to be very careful when you are fixing this, because this pin may fly away if it is not properly holded. So here it should be in groove. It should be in groove. You can see the pin; it is already in groove. That means it is in position. So the other side also, I am going to fix the. pin so okay it is now in place that's all check whether it is in groove it's in groove that's all we are done with our job so after watching this video you must have got some idea about uh, how to remove gudgeon pin from piston and uh, how to inspect a gudgeon pin how to measure the clearance how to gauge gudgeon pin all this thing uh, you must have been understood if you have any doubt please put in comment box definitely i will reply you 
keep supporting thanks for watching